I'm your host, Jensen Howland. And on team one, Kamari Bryan, Cameron Lindley, and on team two, Jasmine Marshall, Gracie Bell, and in our live studio audience. <laughs> Question one for team one. What is another name for King Charlemagne? Is it A, Charles the Conqueror, B, Charles the Great, C, Charlemagne the Just, or D, Charlemagne the Proud? A. Your answer is A, Charles the Conqueror. Is this correct? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> Team two. You ready to answer? <laughs> oh, what's the answer? Ready? Okay, what's your answer? We're gonna go with B, Charles the Great. B, Charles the Great is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Great, that is one point to team two. Second question will be for team two. <clears throat> the players in Pippin are considered a group of Commedia dell'arte artists. In Commedia dell'arte, a blank is an identical, ca identifiable character who is shown as a fool and usually outsmarts the lover. Is this a A. Pantalone, B. El Capitano, C. Dottore, or D. Harlequin? D. D. Harlequin is correct. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Two points total for Team Two. Why don't you explain what's going on right now? Well, yeah. you are to go outside right now. Um, Baby, that's a tsunami I did there, though. Listen, my that, is that, is, that is what is going on. That is what is going on. It's hailing and thundering and lightning and pouring down rain. I'm recording for the vlog for Sarah. Hey, we're all stuck. Hey, the hailstorm. So we just got a rehearsal and it's freaking hailing wow. outside. Yeah, Sarah is yeah. so... I'm freaking sucked. <laughs> you go to UNCG, this is Tea. our market that we just got last year. You can use Flex here. Of course, it's a little overpriced, Tea. but... It's a lot of overpriced, but... Global warming! Uh... I love <laughs> Question three. Back to team one. With bonus points. With bonus points. Steven Schwartz, a great and brilliant man, T. the music and lyrics for Pippin. But he also worked on a few Disney movies. Name at least one. Disney. I know for a fact I know one. <laughs> one is Geppetto. Correct, one that. point to team one. Hunchback of Notre Dame, Notre Dame. That is one of the three options, yes. <laughs> Team two. I'm gonna go Pocahontas. Pocahontas is correct. And Woo! Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid is not correct. It's Alan Mead. The hint is Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> Isn't it? Enchanted. That is correct! Whoa. The fourth question, back in team one. We all know and love Parker Pippin Perry, but what is his real middle name? Is it A, Stephen, B, Gerard, C, Lewis, or D, Peter? Yeah. Would like to say? Gerard. Gerard B. Gerard is correct. His full name is Parker Gerard Perry. What is a witch's favorite subject? Spelling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Parker 
Curves Corner. How is the weather today, by the way? Oh, it's, I, it's partly cloudy, wow. but and the was, sun's the coming sun through. The sun is shining. <laughs> so Hi. We've got a few questions for Parker Perry, our own Pippin. Hi, I'm Parker Perry, show. playing Pippin. <laughs> All right, so question number one yes. is from Jensen Howland. Oh. How familiar were you with the show and the character? Oh, I had seen the show once before uh, in Greensboro about two years ago. Really enjoyed it, and um, other than that, I've, I've listened to the music some, but I hadn't really known too much about the show until now, and <laughs> now I've really steeped myself into the world. Uh, we have another question from my very own mother, oh, Kathy Day, a Kathy. queen. All right, she said, musicals popular in the 70s, i.e. Hair and Pippin, they are being widely produced today. Is there a message in these shows that resonates with today's political climate? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I yeah, I think I think so. With a lot of political upheaval and a lot of uncertainty in the political climate, and I think that's true a lot today. So I feel like that's kind of why we see a resurgence. Shows yeah. like Hair, and shows like Pippin. Yeah. Thank you so, for watching the show. Thanks Hope for tuning you in. A good day. By your corner of the sky. <laughs> Question five. Starting at team two. Grotowski is known for his concept of the poor man's theater, which is something we play with in our show. Mm -hmm. Where was Jerzy Grotowski born? Is it A, Poland, B, Germany, C, Romania, or D, Austria? Whatever letter Romania was. D, Romania? Sure. Yeah. That is incorrect. We would like to go with Poland. A, Poland. Yes. It's correct. One point. It is now four to four. They're all tied up. Question six. Back to team one. <clears throat> What was the original name of the story of Pippin? Was it A, Pippin the Great, B, The Players, C, Pippin Pippin, or D, Charlemagne? <laughs> so our answer is The Players. That is incorrect. T2, do you have an answer? Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Question seven. Team two. Our music director, Dominic Amendum, is not a <laughs> great arranger of music on Wicked, First Date, and currently working on Prince of Egypt in London. But what was the first production he performed in when he was younger? Is it A, Oklahoma, I know this. B, Andy Get Your Gun, C, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and D, Little Shop of Horrors. Okay. Annie, get your gun. B, Annie, get your gun? Yeah. That is correct. He likes that show way too much. <laughs> the last question is worth three points. Irene Ryan, who played the original grandma in Pippin on Broadway, was also known for playing what popular character on TV? Is it A, the grandma on The Addams Family? B, the grandma on Roseanne, C, grandma on Everyone Loves Raymond, or is it D, Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies? Yes. Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies. That is correct. Oh, is the Yes. <laughs> They're at your command, the power and the How do you feel about losing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Y'all are still winners in my heart. <laughs>